Hi guys, I'm Michelle Wright with the CalWhispersCreativeCards.com and I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator. Well, it's Friday and that means it's Tip Friday. And today we are talking about the Mercury Glass Designer Acetate. It's absolutely stunning, stunning. I actually created this card on one of my Facebook Lives and I'll have that link in this post as well as if you'd like to go check it out. So fun. Comes in two designs and here they both are. Let me show you those. Today I want to talk to you about a couple of the tips. This one's more spotted, this is more crackled. Okay, there is a shiny side on both sheets. We'll move this one out of the way. And then the flat side, okay? Because the flat side is the back side. That's where the actual silver is on the back. So it comes with a protective sheet over it. Now, you can just come up here to the corner, and you see how I just rubbed my finger, and it just it grabbed that. I know it may be hard to see, but it grabbed that. So just, the important thing is figuring out which side. Find the shiny side, flip it over, and we'll go to this edge over here. You can kind of drag your finger. If you can't get it going with that, here's another tip. Grab you like some sharp tweezers or something. You just want to get it started. Once you get it started, it's a fine film. All right, now here's something else that I want to make sure you understand. For me, I have found out for me that, and I've got a smaller piece here, it works easier for me if I remove that protective film before I punch or die cut anything. So once again, this is my shiny side, so I'm going to flip it over and try and get that started. If I can't, I'm not going to mess and fuss with it. I'm just going to, and I may have already pulled this one. No, there it is. See there? That's simply to protect that. So now I'm pulling that off, all right? That's trash. Now I've got my tree here. Let's punch that. You see how beautiful that punched out? Beautiful. Now I've got one more tip for you. Okay? Let me show you. Let me grab my glue dots. And that is from the, the tree is from the plaid set. And I'll have that listed in case you would like it also. When you are using this, the ink is obviously on the back side, okay? So, because it's shining up through, so the bright is on the top. You want to make sure that when you, I, I put it down with glue dots. So, if you, let me just show you what I'm talking about. You see this top part here? If you go to your glue dot and you put your tree on there and you don't get it pulled off, and it sticks, look how it will pull that coloring, that silver off, okay? It just pulled it right off. I mean, if you get it stuck on there the first time and you don't have any problems, that's great. But here's why I'm telling you that. I personally am taking my glue dot with all that little fuzz to the acetate and putting it where I want it, where it's camouflaged. So I'm just taking a little bit of extra time, grabbing my glue dot, and putting it where I want it. And then, it's good to go. It'll stay on there really well. Okay? But that way you don't lose any of your silver. So, I hope you guys enjoyed today's tip video. And it will help you using the ever so gorgeous Mercury Glass Designer Acetate. If you enjoyed today's video, please give me a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe to my channel. If you live in the United States and you're looking for an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator, I would love to be your gal and sure appreciate your business. As always, I've listed two more videos at the end of this one that I think you may enjoy. I hope you have a wonderful day and happy crafting.